Welcome back, Zero-K fans, to another exhibition match. This time we're going to be watching Anarchid vs. Saktoth. It's going to be on Baron. Rather short name there. But anyway, let's just get started then. So this is going to be very, fairly interesting. We have seen, I think we've seen more of Saktoth than Anarchid recently. Anarchid is also a good player. It's pretty much the same level of skill as Saktoth. We will probably see Sagdoth. He normally goes for moderate amount of defensive structures. I believe Anarchid is a bit more defense hungry. But I'm not entirely sure. And the players in the chat pointing out that Goda has been playing Planetary Annihilation because he plays everything. So I really don't I don't see the problem there. I mean, if it's a total annihilation based game, he's playing it. And probably beating everyone else at it too, because that's Goda. Doesn't call himself the Gota of Spring for nothing. However, he's not playing right now. Sakdoth and Anarchid are, and Sakdoth getting a couple a couple glaze, then a couple more. He's gonna go for a bit of rating from the looks of it. Baron is a good map for rating. Anarchid, on the other hand, just dirtbag scouting. I haven't seen this in a while, actually. I, sp I think it was about the time that the dirtbag was changed to block bots as well as vehicles. You stopped really seeing dirtbag openers being very common, but there it is. A dirtbag scout. Not a bad scout either. 35 metal for being able to see what's going on. It'll, it should be able to get through the glaives, no problem. Just jump over them and keep going. And it's not going to deal any damage, but it's just going to see what Sackdoth is up to. And, of course, Sackdoth just expanding out. Pretty naked expansion. Anarchid, on the other hand, is setting up some laser turrets around here. I don't know if I totally agree with this placement. I I mean, let's double check. I think it might have done better on the hill here. I can understand why it's here, but going, you can kind of go down from this hill and it it's fairly easy to get down to the Lotus, hit it from above. And that dirtbag did die. It died right in the middle here. Didn't manage to actually get to the Clicky Factory. That's the one thing it could have done, is slow down Sackdoth's production. But... Oh yeah, point, okay. Sprying pointing out in chat that the 35 cost was a pretty big change. And yeah, I, I can see why one wouldn't mass dirtbags as a result. But single dirtbag scout, when you compare it to the cost of like 80 metal for bandits or 65 metal for glaives, it's not the worst cost in the world for a scout. I mean, scouting... Oh, okay. Okay, Sprang pointing out in chat that their vision radius is terrible. Okay, that is a good point. I should point out, I don't dirtbag scout much myself. So if the vision radius sucks, then yeah, I guess that wouldn't make sense. I guess Anna... Anakin must have been just planning on using it to block off the factory for the most part. Granted, he does know that Sactos is going for Cloaky Bots, but that really won't change his strategy too much. But a Roach, however, is going to be coming in here, and it's going to only take out one Glaive. Nice break off by Sactos. Make sure to get rid of that Roach. Good attention there. Now, on the other hand, this battle rages, and it looks like Anarchid is going to retreat back to his base. We do see he is building more Roaches. It looks like it's actually part of his queue. Roach, five Bandits, and Convicts. While Sactos, on the other hand... He is going for, well, Glaive and Rector. On a map like this, not surprising. At this stage of the game, it's going to be a few minutes before the players really establish themselves. And this map is quite small, so the raiding game is, and quite hilly, so the raiding game is pretty likely to last for a couple more minutes at least. Glaive's coming here to try to get rid of these defenders. They are able to do so, but Anarchid's commander in the way. Now just morphing, but able to stop most of these Glaives. They are able to get rid of the defenders, though, so this area is a bit open. Anarchid keeping his commander here and probably going to rebuild these gla these defenders just for the next attack coming in. While well, Sackdoth takes advantage of this to start expanding along the west side of the map, taking the equivalent expansion to what Anarchid already has. So Anarchid does have a bit of an economic advantage at this point, or very slight. Sackdoth has taken more of the bases around, or the mexes around his north side. Anarchid is expanding along the east side of the map instead. He is expanding as well to the south, but it's not simultaneous. And he's actually going to run into some glaives as well. In fact, I think one of these bandits heavily damaged. The other bandit won't be able to take out three glaives, and the glaives are going to run into the laser tower from the looks of One of them is going to run into the laser turret, to the lotus. No, they all are. And at this point, Anarchid is not... Well, he's going to lose a max, but he is going to take out the three glaives. So he's going to make up the money for that loss somewhat. I mean, that was three glaives. It's not... That's not the best trade. However, what is a good trade is this Glaive to the north taking out more of Anarchid's mexes. So Anarchid being raided out very heavily. While Sackdoth, on the other hand, he's got... That's the way he does things. He has defenses on his front. He doesn't really have a lot of them inside his base too much, but he has them on his front, and that's all he really needs. 
Although admittedly, Anarchid does have a path going around the side here that he could attack the main base with. Looks like he is not going to go for that, though. He's more concerned about defending his own assets. Not surprising there. I can't blame him for that. It's just worth noting that there is a path, at least for now. I think this Rector is probably going to be building up some Lotuses up here once it's done. And Saktos starts to consolidate. It looks like, however, Anarchid is just going to try to get rid of Saktos' commander directly. His own commander, Heavy Machine Gun and Auto Repair, so another Battle Recon Com. It's a very common thing here. Saktos, on the other hand, actually going for a proper Battle Chassis. But Anarchid... Trying to deal with the Scythe... Oh, nice use of the Scythe there, actually. Saktos... Forcing Anarchid's commander to retreat thanks to that Scythe. And another Scythe coming in as well. It looks like... Actually, three Scythes will be coming in for Saktos. He revealed his hand a little bit too soon, I think. But... That being said, Anarchid doesn't have a whole lot to defend against this too easily. I mean, the Scythes can just... They just run into the base and deal with everything cloaked. It's the one thing. However... This Roach might just be able to... It's able to decloak the Scythe at any rate. But it gets away. Same time though, Bandit is starting to harass the north. A Scythe will finish it off. And Sakdoth... Sakdoth has established his front. Anarchid, not quite as well. He does have resources he could take. Sakdoth hasn't quite inched into here yet. Definitely hasn't inched down here, but still. Anarchid has much less map control at this point. Especially thanks to the Scythe. They're making it much harder for him to deal with. Expanding, building up in general, getting a proper consolidation going. However, Scythe does attack a Roach. Not the best idea. Really not the most cost-effective thing to do. And Anarchy is trying to break out of it. Gonna be able to catch this Rector off guard too. Take out a few metal extractors. And this is the laser turret I was talking about. Not quite built up yet. And Anarchy does have his commander in position to try to make sure that Sakthoth can't push the front too far. However, Scythe coming in gets rid of Radar. Gonna go for another Roach. This is... Okay, Saktoth, is he paying attention to this? He is well enough getting it out of the way of that Roach. So it doesn't get itself blown up, and it's going to start taking out this Metal Extractor. Now, the Bandits to the Northeast also taking out the Metal Extractor is no problem, so both players doing some nice harassment here. What Anakin has coming up next, though, he's still going for Bandits. What he's coming up next is going to be very important. And he's actually managing to reassert himself. He's managing to get back into the center. He does have a Defender to deal with this Metal Extractor, and Saktoth... Not quite ahead in economy anymore. Anarchid able to harass out a lot of... Well, didn't quite harass out this metal extractor, but he's able to go around the side. A bunch of Rockos. Sakdoth has fully transitioned to the consolidation phase. He's going to be just setting up his own army, getting a nice front line, and then pushing forward with these Rockos. Possibly Zeus's as well. Let's see if he has those in production. No, just Rockos at the moment. But these Glaives are not able to get through that number of Rockos. Able to get rid of this mechs, though. That's one more mechs down, and... Actually, one Rocco down, too. This Glaive, this Bandit, I should say, is doing a great job. Not quite good enough, though. Not quite as fast as a Glaive, so not quite able to dodge Rocco shots as effectively as a Glaive would. And Anarchid moves Commander forward, just attacking himself, raiding along the front line. Through the trench, and going up the hill to deal with these defenders. Not the best idea with the Rocco's mind. His Commander is going to go down pretty soon. The Rocco's will be able to take it out. Anarchid's only chance is to jump into them, I guess. No, not even then. That wouldn't even help. Jump when they attack, I suppose, but no, does not matter. Anarchid, his commander is under great threat. I, he's not going to escape from this. This is it. This is this is it. That's the commander down. That is Anarchid's commander gone down. His economic disadvantage has increased. I mean, he raided earlier, which helps, but even then, massive economic disadvantage as a result. He has to push. Well, it feels he has to push now, and he definitely is pushing now. Bitsprus isn't expanding to the north, though, or at least trying to harass this west side here. Distract Saktoth a bit, because Anarchid can't really fight in the front line. But he can distract Saktoth, move his forces back, or force Saktoth to move his forces back, and deal with economic harassment. Now, Anarchid continuing to build up roaches. He has a roach set up. No, he's not setting it up to defend against these Rockos. He doesn't appear to be aware they're there, and I don't believe he is. Double-checking his radar. He is line of sight only. Now, Saktoth, on the other hand, does have radar, only on the west side of the map, but still... Anarchid is a line of sight only. He is not aware of these Rockos that are going to bear down on his base. This is why I said he probably should have had a Lotus up here. Because that would have stopped this Rocco attack, but not now. These Rockos are going to take care of the Lotus before it even starts to attack. And look, oh no, just barely attacks, but even then, it's it's going down. A Metal extractor has gone down, and Anarchid's entire base is going to be taken over by these Rockos. I don't see Anarchid even going for a counterattack. He is going to the west somewhat, but he is down. This thing is it. Yep, this is it. GG from Anarchid, that is game. 
So, it's another game. I hope you enjoyed that. Much more even game, I suppose, than the last time, but... Hey, Raider heavy game. That's what happens. Although, I do like to see that the Rockos were used. More than just Raiders. So I'll be back in just a minute or two with the next game, so stay tuned.